Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another charging site review. I'm here at the Santa Clarita Electrify America site that recently went live. Uh, this is just off of I-5 uh, north of Los Angeles and uh, yeah it's a really nice site. It's a six charger, six ABB charger units, uh, two 350 kilowatt 450 kilowatt and then the 150 kilowatt chatamo head um, and this one is distributed a little bit differently they have a bank of four that are so sort of farther away from the store and then two that are near the store uh, but what's unique about this is the two that they put near the store were actually they're all ccs so the chatamo on this one is actually the farthest unit from the store i don't know if they're experimenting trying to see you know, if fewer people are going to block the one Chatamo charger if it's the least convenient or farthest from the store. I don't know. I'm just trying to put myself in the minds of the site designers. But it's it's interesting. Either way, I think it's a great site and it's just sort of piling on and adding on to the charging uh, sites that we're seeing in this region. Uh, and, you know, San, Santa Clarita is either sort of the first thing that you hit when you're heading into Southern California, Los Angeles, uh, going southbound. And it's one of the last areas that you hit heading northbound out of Southern California before you hit basically a big mountain range with sparse but adequate uh, charging support. So uh, without further ado, let's just jump into the site score. For access, I'm only going to score this site an 8 out of 10. And the reason for that is, and this seems to be true with all, almost all of the chargers in the Santa Clarita area off of Interstate 5, most of them seem to be really far off the freeway, kind of hard to get to. Uh, so I'm docking a point for that in, in terms of access. And the other thing is no full through pull through parking here. You, if you have a trailer, you're going to have to detach it or you're going to end up taking up multiple parking stalls as you park parallel, which is not ideal. Uh, so it's going to get those two points dinged for access. So we're really only seeing an 8 out of 10 for access for this site. Now for amenities, this is another one that's kind of hard to score. Uh, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. Now the reason is the, the Walmart here, it does have places to eat inside like a Wetzel's pretzel, stuff like that. Uh, or, or you can just buy stuff from inside the store. Uh, but it's only open until midnight. Now I'm pretty sure it's gonna have 24 hour security here. The parking lot's well lit, there are cameras. So that's all nice. Uh, but there's no covering to the chargers. There's no additional level two. Uh, so it's getting a couple of points dinged off and it's getting an eight out of 10 uh, for amenities. For site concentration, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a seven out of 10. This is six charging units and you know I, I think real realistically that's sort of the sweet spot for charging sites at this point you know as long as you're building a sufficient number of sites right this is sort of counter to the uh, way that Tesla is doing it where they're concentrating a huge number of chargers but in over fewer sites whereas most of the public charging providers are electing to go fewer chargers per site but many, many more sites. And I actually prefer that ladder model, but you actually have to have a high enough concentration of chargers uh, to make it reasonable that you'll be able to access one when you get there. And I think for a region like Santa Clarita uh, or you know, pretty much anywhere in California, outside of some of the major metropolitan areas, I think six to eight chargers is probably the sweet spot right now. Um, and you're almost guaranteed to get access uh, to a, an available charger unit. Uh, so for site concentration for this, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Now in terms of location, I'm going to give this site an eight out of 10. It's an important site because pretty much it, Los Angeles, the greater LA area, it's, it's a hotbed of electric vehicle adoption. Uh, plus the fact that this is just off of Interstate 5, one of the main uh, corridors through the state. 
and so a lot of travelers are going to use this a lot of tourists are going to use this but as, as well as a lot of people who are just locals maybe they have shorter range electric vehicles or um, maybe they're just traveling you know lo the los angeles area the greater los angeles area is very big so crossing from one side to the other in a smaller battery electric vehicle can be a challenge uh, so this is just a super important site pretty much any site that goes in in this region along i-5 is going to get a fairly high score uh, so I'm scoring in an 8 out of 10 for location and then in terms of speed it's a 10 out of 10 you know 350 kilowatt and 150 kilowatt chargers nothing's really faster right now nothing can charge faster right now so until that happens these are always going to be a 10 out of 10 for speed and then that brings us to a total site score of 41 out of 50 so you know a basic B and you know I, I think that's kind of what we should expect at a minimum from a electrify America right now uh, they're missing some key elements that would make them a sites in my opinion uh, but they're solid they're gonna be reliable and available they're they're way better than the sites that we saw previously from public charging providers so these are gonna be th these are a huge upgrade right uh, I'd love to hear what you think have you had a chance to use this charging site before uh, do you come through Santa Clarita along I-5 do you travel that corridor if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe it really helps out the channel and uh, thank you for watching